Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And what we've got on the menu is potentially absorbing league action. It's Aston Villa taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's the starting eleven for Aston Villa. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Well, if they're going to play with the front two in this 3-5-2 system, they have to make sure they play as a pair and link up at every opportunity. If they do, they're going to be a real handful. And this confrontation is underway. And it's with Holland from the Sunday. And fine work from Villa to win back possession. Well, good run and good ball control. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Holland. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Dangerous ball. Sound piece of goalkeeping. A Liverpool free kick coming up. comes to nothing in the end and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Daly well very effective play in possession opportunity to deliver the cross and easily intercepted
in position. Very much run of the mill as saves go. And it's with Holland. On to Nagano. Nagano. And Liverpool exploiting the space on the flank here. Oh, she's made a crucial tackle there. Kirsty Hansen. Body in the way. Daly. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? Has a go. Stopped a surefire goal. Well, there we have it. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Midlands. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Oh, great defending. Anna Passan. Staniforth. Lehmann Staniforth Oh, great attacking play Might lead to a chance An alert piece of defending Emma Koivisto Now with Nagano Shanice van der Sande Crossing opportunity. A very effective clearance. Holland. Is this the moment? In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement off the ball is bright, and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. One nil, then. Alicia Lehmann. That's useful play. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Daly getting into position to collect it. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. The save was a good one. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Going short. Delivered into the area here. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser.
Well, here it is again, and they go short just to get a different angle on the cross. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, they've had to dig in, but just look what that means to her. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Liverpool trying to click into an attacking gear with the game level in the closing moments. But timely defending when it mattered. Alicia Lehmann. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, they've decided to make a change. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Incisive pass. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Well, she knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at her reaction there. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It's so competitive for much of the game. But they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result.